of Flamingo Take Home Kit. Make sure you protect your work surface. You're going to need a cup of water for washing brushes, a couple napkins, a pencil, and a hair dryer. Take a peek at everything in the kit. I'm going to set it aside and we're going to start with our paint and our plate. Just snip the corner of the bag with some scissors. Squeeze your paint onto the plate. I like to go ahead and put all my paint on the plate. Then you're going to take your largest brush and we're going to do the whole background of our canvas in this teal color. Feel free to pause anywhere where I speed up so that you can take your time. Just looking for a nice even coat. Make sure you get your edges. And I'm just going to come back at the end and just smooth it all out. I'm going to hit with a hair dryer. Get it nice and dry. Alright, get your flamingo template. Grab a pencil. I'm just going to give a quick trace. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just need to be able to barely see the line just to see where we're going to paint. Now I didn't trace all the way to the end of the flamingo because I'm going to make my end kind of disappear, but you do whatever you want. I'm going to start with the white. I'm going to get a nice thin coat. This is just getting the extra paint off my brush going down the neck. I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer real quick and go with a second coat so that it can be a little brighter white. I'm just going to let it air dry while I move right into the pink. You can mix the white and pink to make it a little bit lighter. You can keep going back and forth with just the dark pink by itself. Add more white in if you want it to be brighter. I'm just going to speed this even faster to get through. Just keep painting. Take your time on this until you're really happy with the coverage. slow down right here you want to give this just a slight curve to do its face right at the little point of that curve is where we're going to do the flamingo's eye at the end I'm just going to kind of give it some brush strokes if you want to make your flamingo all the way solid to the edge of the canvas that's awesome I like to give it a quick dry just because I can still see some of the kind of teal through the canvas. We dry the paint real quick, we can go over it, and it's going to show up much brighter as that second coat. So just keep going pink white until you are happy with the color that you get. Alright, I'm just going to wash my brush. Now I'm going to open the black. I'm going to start with the beak. Go really slow. If you make a little mistake with the black, since the white is dry, if you have a wet wipe or something, it's very easy just to wipe up the edge of where your mistake was. base for the eye. Now the flamingo is really starting to look like a flamingo. Alright, wash your brush well. And then you're going to it with the dryer. Okay, dry your brush off and just get a little bit of light pink. 
color right on the sides of this black line. Empty your little bag of goodies. Look for something that will make the eye good. And then I like to go ahead and just dab lots of glue on. I'm gonna give my flamingo a little crown. That's what I'll start with. You wanna make sure you use plenty of glue. The glue will dry clear. And you'd rather have too much because you don't want your things to fall off after it is dry. Place a few items that you like, strategic places, take your time. You just start with individual dots, just to get those spots of something that I know where I want it to go. Now I like to just fill it in, smear it around with your finger, smear around where everything else is. Again, the, the glue is gonna dry clear. Remember that. Afterwards, I just like to sprinkle the crushed glass, the glitter, sprinkle it all around, make it nice and full and thick. It's helpful to kind of press it down into the glue a little bit. I'm gonna run a hair dryer just it really helps kind of cure it quickly. You're still gonna to want to let it lie flat for a while, at least a day before you hang it. Flat and congratulations, we've made a flamingo.